Hi, I'm Amber Royer, author of the Bean to Bar Mysteries, which are set in Galveston. So here I am in downtown. We're one block over from the Strand, which is the Historic District Shopping Center, where my character's chocolate shop exists in my fictional version of this city. But I wanted to show you some of the real architecture and some of the little monuments and things that, that are on the street down here. This is Mechanics Row and we're here because it's a little bit quieter. Although with all of the new construction and the post-storm repairs, you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, this building here is actually the Dallas News Building. It's one of the historic monuments and you can see there is a little plaque and that plaque is talking about how it is a survivor of the big 1900 hurricane. Hurricanes have always been big in Galveston um, as far as something you think about when you live close to here. I grew up in Southeast Texas, so this island was roughly an hour away from me growing up and we came over here to hang out and do vacation. But even on the mainland, we would evacuate quite frequently but there are some buildings here that have survived a number of storms and have done so beautifully. So here we have a better shot of the plaque and then over here you can see a nice photo of the building um, from the archives. So now we're walking down the alley between uh, Mechanic and Strand. As you can see there's a lot of mismatched construction, things that are modern, butting up against things that are really old construction. None of the windows um, match as far as the line. And it looks a little bit like that on the front too, but it's even more dramatic back here. So in my story, I have Felicity going down part of an alley like this um, to get to her shop, but I've never looked at the alley part of the strand before. And one thing that really pops out at you is how there's all of these electrical wires and all the things that keep everything running up back here overhead. in the Strand and this is heading towards the end. There's a little less foot traffic over here so I wanted to take a nice photo um, going towards the end and at the end you have the Railroad Museum. So here it is on the Tremont side with one of the more interesting sculptures. This giant trumpet has been here for just about as long as I can remember. building behind me here is the Tremont House Hotel and this one is interesting because it was damaged in the 1900 storm and rebuilt so this one dates back from about the 1870s and it has a personal history for me and my husband we actually did our honeymoon in Galveston and we stayed at the Tremont House it's really gorgeous inside uh, there's a lot of street art in this area and it's always changing every time you come something new or different is going to be up there Galveston also has a long history of pirate tales. Um, supposedly, Jean Lafitte buried his treasure somewhere on the island, but if that actually happened, when they added all the extra sand in 1900 after the hurricane, it would be buried under about eight feet, some buildings, some streets, and nobody's ever really verified if the three tree map ever really existed or if there ever was any treasure at all. But that doesn't stop the pirate myth from being a huge thing with this culture in this area. Um, and it's always fascinated me. In fact, two of my first NaNoWriMo unpublished novel projects involved Galveston Island, one with time travel to find Jean Lafitte's treasure, and another one in modern day where there are some kids looking for pirate treasure. So here are a couple of blocks from uh, the Strand, right at the Tremont and Harbor side. This is the cruise ship terminal. And it's going to play a part in one of the later books in the series. But right now, it is giving my fictional character shop uh, a boost every time the cruise ships come in and people are looking for 
unique things from the island um, because this is where they sailed out of or one of the stops on where they're sailing to. This is walking down Harbor Side. There's a lot of restaurants that have been there forever. There's a museum about the Galveston hurricanes because that's a big part of the history. Uh, you can see the ship mast sticking up over one of the buildings. It's an interesting place to visit whenever social distancing gets lifted and you can go inside these restaurants that have been here at least since I was a kid. And with the way the architecture is, you can definitely see the juxtaposition of old with new, things that have been damaged, things that have been repaired. It's a fascinating city. Another really cool landmark that has survived um, through the hurricane history that Galveston has is the 1894 Grand Opera House. And it's a really cool place inside. There's so many places I wish I could really show you, but with all of the social distancing, we've been staying pretty, pretty far away from people. And I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little tour of the historic Strand District. Um, you'll notice there's a lot of fictionalized homages to different things that you've seen and to other things in Galveston that take place in the book. This is really one of my favorite cities and getting to write about it has been just a blast.